We've been seeing some tremendous price action from Bitcoin after the U.S. election. So we're going to talk about what we could see to come here. Are we going to push that 100K level or are we going to see a consolidation or a dump from here? So we're going to talk about that in this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or follow me on X wherever you're watching. And uh, let's get into our video here. So, um, and when I say dump, I mean more of a correction, right? Uh, you know, we're either going, uh, pump and dump is kind of a crypto term. So that's just why I said that. Um, but, you know, we can either see a couple of different things here. We can either see Bitcoin go to 100K, we can see consolidation from where we're at right now, or we can see a further correction. So what's likely going to be in store here? Well, we can technically, we can look at the technicals and try to determine where that's headed, you know, and really this helps, um, helps us kind of look at past historical data and kind of figure out where things are headed. So Bitcoin, this is the Bitcoin chart, absolutely smashing it since the election. Look at this run up. It's just been phenomenal to watch. Um, yeah, so everybody's excited about Trump uh, taking office. Um, people in crypto are anyways. And, and, you know, and the reason for that is because he has a more pro crypto stance and he's electing officials into or he's going to be appointing officials into office that are, uh, you know, a little bit more forward thinking when it comes to crypto. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see where uh, this presidency takes us, really. Uh, on the daily chart, we can see surging almost vertically since November, and 100K Bitcoin is likely to be witnessed soon. The RSI has also been showing a massive overbought signal for a while now, so that means we are in that territory where a pullback could occur. Uh, this could indicate that while Bitcoin's likely to hit that 100K mark in the short term, there's also a considerable possibility for a correction or a consolidation afterwards. So which is really going to happen first? Well, the four hour chart uh, seems to align with a possible correction scenario. Gradually rising inside an ascending channel, we can see that right here, see these uh, two yellow lines the, and big, the Bitcoin price is staying within that channel. Um, so this has been happening over the past couple of weeks and a clear bur uh, bearish divergence is shown on the RSI. Any pullback, could likely occur after the market has broken through that 100K level. It seems to be that's where everybody wants this thing to go. And when the market sentiment shows that, a lot of times that that's where what will happen because people are expecting it to happen. And uh, But what could potentially happen after that is some profit taking, right? We could see uh, some profit taking after that 100K barrier has been broken. Now, we're extremely optimistic uh, that Bitcoin will finally rise above the 100K mark. Like I said, everybody's expecting it. We're pretty optimistic that's going to happen. This is clearly visible on the exchange reserve chart. And what does that really entail? Well, this measures the amount of Bitcoin held in wallets that are associated with platforms like, uh, you know, these big exchanges like Crypto.com, Binance, Coinbase, etc. And they can be sold at any instant because they're holding them on an exchange. It's very easy to offload. Um, so these uh, exchange reserves have been taking a nosedive as investors are withdrawing their Bitcoin into, into uh, wallets. So they're basically taking them and putting them into their own custody so that they can hold them. So normally people do that when they anticipate the price increasing because they don't want to hold their funds on exchanges because not your keys, not your crypto, right? Um, so the market sentiment there is bullish and it is uh, shown and supported by a supply shock that we see on exchanges. So exchanges basically have less Bitcoin to sell. And what that what happens there is it creates a bit of a supply shock and it can drive prices higher. Um, so we're just going to jump over quickly and take a look at the uh, CoinMarketCap uh, site here. We can see, you know, market cap is still sitting at 3.28 trillion, only down very, very slightly in the day in the last 24 hours. So what's this really showing us? Well, if Bitcoin's price is going down, where's the money going into? Well, it's either going into uh, other cryptos, altcoins, or it's going into stablecoin. So that's pretty much what happens here. If the market, if the overall crypto market cap stays the same, it has to be funneling back into somewhere else. We've seen a number of altcoins. Um, taking off. Oh, Lido Dow, that's looking pretty good today, up 22%. Sand is still running. It's in the 71 cent area. Uh, we have a number of different uh, altcoins that are still up. And, uh, you know, it, I don't think that this thing is done yet. I really think that we are going to still see a pretty uh, significant run up for Bitcoin. I think it's just on a little bit of a cool down period right now. Um, so, yeah, we'll just kind of have to wait and see what happens this week. Uh, there's a number of different things going on, and there's also a little bit of fear in terms of, you know, the, the Russia-Ukraine war and financial markets just do not like uncertainty. So, you know, I think, you know, once some of these things maybe kind of hopefully kind of cool down, um, maybe we'll see uh, Bitcoin take its next run up, next leg up. 
and uh, hopefully we'll see a bit of consolidation or a bit of a pullback after that. So because, uh, you know, when things go vertical the way they've been going, we're going to hit a massive correction if we don't see some uh, consolidation here. So that's pretty much what I got for you guys in this video. I just want to give you a quick update of what's going on in the overall crypto market. So uh, let me know down below if you have any questions and uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to help you out there. So thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stick around. I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to be providing crypto content on the channel and we're on X every single day. And, uh, you know, just make sure that you guys are tuned in and, you know, uh, you know, up, kept up to date on what's going on with crypto. So thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.